Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty of the Legend. Last time we managed to get the key to close the demon portal, but the demon broke it before we got it. We're supposed to be taking that to Maghard, um, but on the way I re went back, got all of our troop stock back, and, and I realized that we sent that recruiter guy. Remember, if you remember, he had asked us, what troop should I send? And we had said, send some dragons. I believe he attacks the capital here, so I believe if we go here, something will happen. And so we're going to investigate the castle first, and then we will go to Megard. Ah, Valiant Christian Tyler, help me. What is going on in this world? The demons will stop at nothing. Look at this. Teron is captured by demons. The capital has fallen. Demon troops and warriors from other worlds have broken our defensive lines, and we've been forced to leave the castle. Help us. Uh, sure. Okay, yeah. Oh, yep, there he is. Recruiter Rahab. There he is. 15, 20, and 15. So nothing too bad. And his army... His army sucks. Wow. What kind of army is this? This army's terrible. Um... Attack decreased. Eh, let's just... Remove that. And attack those guys, I guess. Oh, there's two bone dragons. I should have attacked them probably, but well, he's gonna kill them. Never mind. I guess it doesn't matter. That's the thing. This army's not that strong. We should be able to take care of it pretty handily here. Oh, oh my gosh. He's got three hit points left. Three? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't want to waste a turn attacking him, so I'm not going to. Somebody else can kill him later once he attacks, I guess. This guy's too slow. Ew. There, now you're dead. Even though we're easily gonna handle this. Need to probably promptly, uh... Do resurrections here. 2, 14, 2, 63. Those are the guys we need to be resurrecting. Um... And we'll... Well, I was gonna say we'll do another resurrection next turn, but these... These things may not survive till next turn, yeah. Hmm, do we wait? Okay, no problem. Let's do resurrections now. So 2, 14, I'm not going to worry about that. 7, 11... Well, um, it pulls 11, and let's get the 12, I guess. <laughs> the pygmy killed them. <laughs> uh, not too bad of losses. Have to fight more, or? Oh, thank you, Christian Tyler. I really don't know how I could get along without you. How many times you have helped Kordar? Althea, you're welcome. Huh. A little bit of free gold, a little bit of free, uh, Experience. Nothing here new, though. No. Um, oh, we do have these eggs. I'm not going to use them. The dragon eggs. Let's sell those. We'll keep the other stuff for now. You never know. Maybe we'll use them. Probably won't, admittedly, but I'll hold on to them for now. Now, oh, I should restock our soldiers real fast. Our armies. Mostly at full strength. Yeah, we're short five, what, seven guardsmen? That's it. That's not bad at all. Now let's head over to Maghard. Turn in the broken key and see if there's anything they can do with that. And then we'll head uh, probably back to Elven Lands. We have the key to that door there. Like I said, first we'll go here. 
now that we know where it is, because man, that took forever the last time trying to figure out where this was at. Geez, I could not figure it out. Uh. Ooh, there. All right, let's go. My rocket-powered drain. Because I don't, I don't remember what happens with this if they can just fix the key or not. Might be able to. But we'll see. Yeah, but we're definitely nearing end game. I mean, you got to think we're at. Uh, we're at 27 now. Like I said, I think the max level is around 30. We can gain another maybe three levels of experience, so we're pretty much there. All right. Uh, let's see here. Show it. Show it to me, Christian Tyler. You've already found the portal key, right? Make an old dwarf happy with good news. Eh, uh, well, I found the key, but uh, it's broken broken well give it to me it's not the sort of thing that can be broken easily wait a couple of minutes i don't think it will take much time the dwarf takes the key in his hands puts some strange glass over his eye and starts examining the key then he puts it on the workbench takes a hammer out of his pocket and strikes the key twice with all his might then he takes it into his hands again grips it carefully and shakes it off ready now it's just like a new one and you can take it I hope you managed to close the portal. By the way, I readjusted it a little there. Now it will seal the portal forever. No key ever, uh, no key ever opens it again. Okay. Anything else I could use? Not really. There's a lot of good items that give a bonus to uh, to dwarven units. Having an all dwarf army seems like could work. It could work pretty well. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just randomly getting them because there's some randomness to the items you get. Like, maybe I'm just randomly getting a lot of. Oh, excuse me, just keep, keep moving. Getting a lot of Dorvan items, I'm not sure. But I wasn't planning to go for a Dorvan army, and if I was, I should have taken the, uh, the shield. The. When I sold the map of King Fandor, I should have sold the shield of the dwarf king to get that bonus if I was going to go dwarves, because that shield's pretty nice for dwarf. If uh, you're going dwarves, I think it gives you like a 20% discount on leadership or something. Like, it's really nice. Alright. So now we're going to go back. Seal the portal. I'm guessing we just need to go down there, right? It says to close it, so I suppose going straight down there should do it. We'll see, though. Maybe an enemy army waiting to stop me, perhaps, or something. We shall see. And it's one of those things that if there's anything you want to get there, I'm guessing you need to do it before you seal it, because sealing it will close it forever, supposedly, so you can't go back to get any items or things you may have missed. I think we cleared it out, though. I mean, I can think of. If you seal up the portal now, you'll never be able to open it again. If you have any remaining affairs in Demonis, then it be uh, then it is better not to close it yet. Do you wish to close the portal? I do. The key slides into the lock easily, and then it breaks out from your hands and disappears inside the locking mechanism. At first, nothing happens, but then something cracks loudly inside the lock and the gate's doors slam shut. A silent crackle is heard and unbearable heat rushes out of the lock, which just became red hot. It seems now that the portal is closed forever. The Dwarven King will be glad to hear this news. Shut the door. Nice. Okay, uh... Tell the king, yeah. I wonder if he'll give us any kind of maybe he'll sell some better items or something now that we've sealed it, perhaps. Suppose we'll see though. Alright, we'll go talk to him and then probably off to Elven Lands we'll go to start the end game. Mm -hmm. 
Away we go. I think, I at least think for the moment, I'm just going to keep the composition I'm using. It seems like it's working okay. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Easy to get turned around because the camera doesn't always face a specific direction. And so it's easy to have it facing the wrong direction and the way you thought you were going not actually the same direction anymore because the camera's flipped around on you. No, you really just gotta keep an eye on. Alright. King, what do you think of this? Tell me, Christian Tyler, is it true you sealed the demon's portal? Uh, yes, I found the portal key and locked it. Now the demons are closed in their world again. I don't believe what I'd hear. You understand what this means, Christian Tyler? The war has ended. I should say there are not so many people who can make me smile. And you've already done this several times, my human friend. Now we'll drink and celebrate. Warriors will meet their relatives again and the beer will run down like water. You deserve a great reward, Christian Tyler. A thank you. I did get a new item here. A trident decorated with a pentagram made of strange red metal. Um, minus five to the leadership of demons. I, I don't want that at all. That's terrible. Why would, why would you offer this to me, Torn Dior? What are you doing? Don't offer me this chunk. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate because I don't, I don't want that. Um, nothing there. All right, well, shoot. He didn't really reward me in a way I I like, but that's fine. Let us go to Elven Lands, I suppose. Hope I can go to Human Lands real quick and grab up these last couple soldiers just just to grab them. I think a full strength uh, army is pretty important. If we lose any more, any big groups, maybe I'll switch over to some elves or some hunters. I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. I'm not sure what I want to do there. But for now. Um, who am I missing out on? Guardsmen. Wait, those are swordsmen. Uh, where are guardsmen? These ones? There we go. Okay, so now we are maxed out. Good. All right, and we'll go open the door. I don't think... Well, I guess I'll check the quest log. I don't think we need to talk to the Elven Royalty. I think we can just go open the door. I suppose when we get here, I'll double check. Um, I must open the Dragon's Labyrinth. Yeah, no, it just says to open it, so... Um, let's see, where was that? Up here somewhere? Yeah, there it is, right here. You study the lock closely. That's it. The keyhole exactly matches the key of the dragon's labyrinth. Let's open it to the key slides into the lock easily. And then it breaks out from your hands and disappears into the locking mechanism. At first, nothing happens. But then something cracks loudly inside the lock and the gate's doors swing slightly open. We've done it. Dodge. Oh, Dragon Scar. Stop. Stop, Wanderer. Finally, I've met the one who has managed to get into the labyrinth. Scar knew. And Scar believed that sooner or later the labyrinth would be opened. Uh, you are? My name is Scar. This version of my name you should be able to pronounce human. Tell me. You come here to help us? You come for Haas's head? Actually, I just want to get to Morocco Island. That is a pity, human. I hoped that one who would come would be able to save us from Haas. Our life has been an eternal nightmare, and now that he has vanished and the seven incarnations taken his place, life has become completely impossible. Okay, well how can I help you, dragon? 
Free the labyrinth of all seven incarnations of Haas. Kill them all, that peace may reign here once more. For this you will receive a worthy reward, Christian Tyler. Ooh, dragon cloak. I don't remember. Hopefully that's good. Sure. What else did you have to say to me? Tell me about Haas. The elves gave him the name Haas. Elves cannot pronounce a dragon's name any better than humans. Long ago, he was injured badly in Ultrax, and he and his henchmen became very cruel. Now Haas is divided into seven parts, each of them a piece of his soul. Nobody knows how this happened to him, or where he is now. Maybe if you kill all his incarnations, he will kill him. No one knows? Okay, well, tell me about the history of the labyrinth and the dragons. Long ago, we left our native Ultrax and found our shelter here in Andoria. The elves were so kind to give us part of their islands. It was with their permission that the labyrinth became a second home for us. We lived in peace with the elves for a long time. We cherish our freedom and allow no one to control us. Every family lived separately on their own. And then Haas appeared. He was one of those dragons that had suffered from the Ultrax sun. The fierce sun, it seems, had dazzled his mind. He made, uh, he made many of us to make a dis uh, he made many of us to make a declaration of loyalty to him and he killed those dragons who disagreed then he turned to the elves by his order dragons ravaged and burned down elven towns and kidnapped their children it made the elves hate us and unable to resist us they decided to seal the labyrinth thus we were trapped for many years under the absolute rule of the mad Haas and his henchmen but recently, something happened to Haas. He disappeared, and seven of his incarnations appeared instead. It became unbearable because of all his doubles are completely mad. Now chaos reigns in the labyrinth. We would be very grateful to you if you could save us from them. Hmm. All right. And uh, let's see. Tell me more about these incarnations. This is something. Uh, this is some unknown magic. Somehow, a spell fragmented Haas. You can meet the incarnation of him, which manifests his strength, his fearsomeness, or his intellect. All the incarnations are different, and I do not know the power of each of them. Okay, what is the difference between them, and which one of them is the most dangerous? They are all very dangerous. However, I advise great caution with the Violet Dragon, the incarnation of fear. Just the sight of him is enough to make your warriors tremble. All right, and tell me more about old tracks. Our world is wonderful. The rays of our sun are iridescent. And high mountains stretch to the very sky. This is the most beautiful place one could imagine. But what are you doing here if your world is so wonderful? Old tracks is a dying world. Yes, our world perishes, scorched by the merciless rays of a dying star. We hid in the caves, in the shade from its violet rays. For thousands of years, but realizing that our race is dying and would eventually be burned completely, many dragons preferred to flee to other worlds. Here, in Andoria, the climate is good, although it's kind of cool for us. Hmm. Alright. Thank you for your information, I suppose. Um, can I look at the map real quick? No, we're not in a specific spot really at the moment. Now we need to get to Murak. I think that's the final, final area. Any treasures hidden around here anywhere? Buried treasure, perhaps? Pirate's hut. Random, random thing to be out here. Oh, swordsman. Hey, if I need them. Necro call. We don't need those spells. Thank you. Okay, so I believe this is literally a labyrinth, so like there's go into this portal, go into this portal, and so on, like you can get lost, so. Let's see, yeah, we need to kill Haas's seven embodiments. And proceed, and going through the labyrinth will take us to Murak. But we need to just, let's do a hard save right here. Because it's easy to get lost, frankly. Let's just pick a portal, I guess. Very strong, the dragon words. 
Alright, I guess... There, yeah, there's no reason not to fight him, I guess. Um... Well, yeah, those shamans are gonna be annoying. Um... Just line our soldiers up. Form ranks. Okay, unfortunately, they'll get to cast spells first because of the Black Dragon, probably. But there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, not Rage. Let's definitely cast Haste, I think. Then, um... I don't think I want to attack the dragon, because he's got the magic... Yeah, they got the magic resist. I hate attacking them. Now let's attack the back one, at least, I suppose. See if we can kill them? Hey. And then Dragon Slayer? Can you... No, I can't kill them. Okay. Totems are so annoying. He's just going to keep casting that. That's annoying, but it is what it is. I can't really do much about it. I mean, that's the problem, is we may have to find our way back out of the labyrinth to restock our soldiers at some point, because, well, I think there's just a lot of dragons and things around here. Um, now let's just attack them, I guess, again. Let's remove this totem. Burn you, and then hopefully they can take you out. Yeah, and then hopefully they can take the dragon out. Is the hope here? Uh, nope. Well, not without a crit. A crit would have done it, I guess. He's apparently just going to keep spamming that. Let's cast. Let's start casting resurrections. I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, we're taking a ton of damage here. Probably even. That's another one right now. He's just going to spam that ability. Ugh. I'm going to cause our losses to be high because he's just killing little bits here and there, but I can't do anything about it. We do have enough to soldier in somebody. This would do till 27. Well, let's do it on these guys. I guess there's not actually a lot of soldiers left. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of losses everywhere, goodness gracious. There we go. Tear this totem down. I think it's giving him defensive bonuses, and well, I don't need you having any more defense than you got. It's so annoying, wow. And there's nothing I can do about him, he's still got a hundred mana, he can just spam it the entire battle. The battle will be over by the time he runs out of mana, so... 
That was a bad play by him, because he used his ability where he does more damage but takes more, so yeah. Just kind of get killed. Um, yeah, let's just finish this stack off. Get him down to one stack, and then we'll... we'll just get... Gosh, we'll just continue to spam Resurrections. Even though I'm pretty much out of power now. We can do a soul drain, I guess. Kill a couple of them. We'll do one last resurrection. He'll probably be dead this turn. So this is probably our last one. Uh, 13, 63, 45. Oh my gosh, my losses are so high. Oh well. He did say he was very strong, admittedly. There we go. That's well, worth 4,000 XP, that's nice. Yeah, I may have to just continually go back and get more soldiers. Because, I mean, yeah. This is a magic garden. Black unicorns. What are these? Lake fairy. I don't want that either. Actually, I don't want that. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I think each one, each of these areas is kind of like a room. And each room will have, like, a fight in it. Pretty much. Did that count as, a, as an aspect action? That was one of his embodiments. Okay. Oh, well, just need to kill, kill all of them. Wait, we can go this way? Oh. Whoa. Oh. And there's a, oh, and there's another embodiment down here. I see. Almost, almost missed that one. Do we try to kill him? Because he's very strong. I guess let's give it a try. You know what we can do also? We've got a bunch of these potions. Let's drink one of those to really give us a... Give us a boost. Um... Yeah, this doesn't look too terrible. I think our formation we've been doing, lining everybody up like this, has been working pretty good. It protects us from the dragon breath. And it puts us up nice and close so we can uh, rush them down. I didn't notice what his 10, 15, 15, so nothing bad. They're going to be annoying, because they've got that 30%, yeah, 30% miss chance on them. But that is what it is. We'll just kill these dragons real quick. Is there anybody else we should hit here? Hmm, I could just slow one of these groups. Let's slow you down so you can't come closer. And then let's see yeah, how let's just focus on killing the dragon. Nice. Well, I got him down to one. Nice. Oh. Bull didn't affect him. Oh my gosh. What the heck did he do? Oh, if I can't read the text quick enough, he, like, put my whole army to sleep, apparently. I don't know. It's like he put my whole army to sleep and not just one person. I don't know. That was weird. Huh. Well, either way. We can soul drain. Do 8,000... 862 of those dryads? My gosh. Yeah, no, I think this is a good choice. It is 600 damage. Ain't nothing, uh, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing too bad there. 8,600. That is pretty good. Nothing to sneeze at. Um. Oh, my gosh. 30% miss chance, please. That is not the time to be doing that. Not that there's really a good time to be doing it, frankly. Let's 
kill the dragon off here. He just summon? Oh, yep, he summoned phantoms. Okay. Oh, she's doing this sleep ability. Oh, well, there's no way we can. I thought it was the beholder the first time I say, How is he doing that? There's no way we can block all that. We can't. Like, there's too many of them. We can't kill them quick enough. I can kill the phantom, but the phantom's lower on the list because it'll disappear after a certain number of turns, so if I have to pick somebody, it's going to be somebody else. The Inquisitors are charmed. Pleasant. Man, these guys are like CCing the crap out of me. Wow! do this. We can kill this and not suffer any retaliation for that. If we're going to win here, yes. But man, we're taking a lot of losses. Luckily, like I said, this army is very expendable. We can go back and just buy another one, admittedly. That's well, not so bad. Like I said, it's end game. Like, I don't need to be saving money for anything or anything like that. Uh, I can almost do soul draining again. There we go, we can do soul draining again now. Since I'm losing control of a lot of my troops because of fear and other things. Alright guys, let's not let's not be missing now. Let's just kill her. Oh gosh. Can we just kill her? There we go. Now just end it. There you go. Got him. Okay. Alright. We'll resurrect some people. He's about out of mana, so this battle's pretty much over, except for my own guy shooting me. It's lovely. Uh, whose turn is it? Oh. my turn again um three four six um i kind of don't want to finish winning yet i'm gonna wait patiently i can get one more these guys one more resurrection 19 four six 72, we lost so many archers. Ugly, our Inquisitors decided to turn against us. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, but it's fine. We've got a bunch of backups right here. And that should have been the second one. Good. Yeah, so we'll, we're going to handle this pretty easily, it looks like. But I think that's where we're going to stop for today's video. Uh, off screen, I'll go stock our troops up again, and then we'll keep exploring the labyrinth. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.